John Woo's Stranglehold is a game that you don't really see all that often. Do me a favor. Kill yourself! <laughs> what the fuck? It's a third-person shooter released all the way back in 2009, with its big selling point being its slowdown mechanic, and because of that, it's often just been labeled as a Max Payne clone. Which isn't really fair at all, since Remedy, the developers of Max Payne, the Wachowski sisters, and countless others have took inspiration from Wu's filmography. As a matter of fact, this game's other main selling point is that it's a sequel to his 1992 film Hard Boiled. Why did I say it like that? Hard Boiled. <laughs> the film that arguably put Wu on the map in America complete with Chow Yun-Fat reprising his role as the one and only Inspector Tequila. I cannot tell you how much I love that name. As someone who loves to make and watch movies, I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I wasn't too well versed in Wu's filmography. Only while doing research for this video did I find out that he made Face Off, which makes so much fucking sense. I had Face Off on VHS when my entire family had moved on to DVDs and streaming, and I had a VCR in my room, and I would watch Face Off all the fucking time. I love that movie so much. Oh god, I'm off topic again. I remember playing the demo for this with my dad a lot back in 2012, when we couldn't really afford games and would just scrounge the Xbox 360 marketplace for scraps. I really liked this and really wanted to play this fucking game, but he ended up buying Sleeping Dogs instead. And as good as that game is, Stranglehold was undeniably worth the 12 year wait. I don't want to sound like I'm gassing this game up too much, but Stranglehold is an amazing game that deserves more than to just live in Max Payne's shadow. Now, don't get me wrong, I also love Max Payne, but at its core, these games have lots of differences outside of that one mechanic. Where Payne excels in its dark noir storytelling, at least the first one, I've only played that one, I own the other two, but I still haven't played them yet, Stranglehold specializes in the exact opposite. The story does not fucking matter here whatsoever, besides knowing who you have to shoot. It's the fast and loud opposite of an already fast game from beginning to end. Just the simple gameplay loop of jumping around and shooting guys in slow-mo never gets old. The key features this game has outside of that is its additional skills and destructible environments. The environments have lots of various objects to shoot at, be it exploding barrels or wood planks holding up a conveniently placed pile of boulders. And thanks to the Havoc physics engine, which I swear was in like 70% of the games in the late 2000s, it looks amazing to blow stuff up and see debris go absolutely everywhere. It's a great mechanic that's hilarious for the first few hours. One gripe I have is that later on, there's far, far less of these destructible objects in place of standard shootouts, which is a bit of a shame even if the game is still very fun. Watching pillars, walls, and statues fall apart or just straight up blow up during a firefight does add an extra layer of enjoyment to this game. It's kind of hard to explain. For the skills, you fill up the meter in the lower left part of the screen by killing gangsters. With this meter, you can refill your health, use precision aim, barrage, or spin attack. I honestly never used barrage and spin attack while the health refill was a lifesaver in a pinch, and I just liked using precision aim to shoot guys in the nuts. I thought about having like a Call of Duty, um, <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like a kill compilation where I just have footage of me shooting guys in the dick over and over again while youngest stepdaughter or whatever that, that Super Heaven song plays in the background. <laughs> I will say that this game is extremely easy, almost brain dead. I played it on normal and save for one or two boss fights that I had to retry a couple times, this game is incredibly forgiving. Each time you die, everything you have is completely replenished, be it your health bar, your skill meter, or even your ammo. And this is a game where there's copious amounts of health packs and ammo strewn about each level. Add on top of that that using a mouse just straight up breaks the game. So this was an incredibly laid back experience, which it does kind of play into the power fantasy of being an action movie hero. I don't know man, too many games take inspiration from film genres or specific stories and just simplify them down to slow down traversal or realistic gunplay, which frankly completely removes the fun of movies. Look, I love a coming of age story or an A24 movie just as much as the next guy, and I don't want it to seem like I'm completely against cinematic games, but when it comes to the meld between the two mediums, it's usually one just changing the other. Like a dysfunctional, toxic relationship. Stranglehold is a damn near perfect meld of the two mediums. It's just a playable 90s action movie. 
there's no fluff, no Oscar bait, just pure, unadulterated violence. To a certain extent, it does this a little too well. Near the end of the story, Tequila saves his ex-girlfriend slash the mother of his child, only for her to die immediately after. Mind you, this is like her third scene in this game. It's very stupid and can literally be used as a textbook example of a fridge moment. Or when Tequila's buddy betrays him right after, even though we've only seen him four times, at least he got an extra scene. So that stuff aside, this is what I want to see more of when games take inspiration from film. Just the Mexican standoff mechanic alone, it's, oh my gosh, it's the best part of the game, even though it is a bit overused near the end. It's this on-rails segment where you have to quickly shoot each gangster while also dodging left and right to avoid their bullets. It's, it's so fucking cool. I will say that most of the levels are very linear in terms of what you can do. Only the small percent of them are some arena that you just shoot guys in, while the rest are designed to go in a specific way with little to no variation. I will say that I fucking hate the camera. It just has a mind of its own. It'll just randomly zoom in on tequila when you're running around the level, and it can be a little bit claustrophobic. Occasionally, it'll even do this during combat, and it can be a pain in the ass to try to see where you're being shot from. Watching the previs for the standoff, the prototypes for the facial animations, and the first build of the game, which was made in Midway's previous title, PsyOps, just shows how much went into this game. All the work trying to carry over Wu's iconic style translates to the game very, very well. There was even a contest to see who can make the best John Woo short film for the game. Uh, there's nothing notable uh, outside of that. It was just a contest and somebody won. I just felt like mentioning because stuff like this is both very 2000s, but also just goes to show that people care when making Stranglehold. And it paid off really well. It sold over a million copies about a year after its launch. Plus, it reviewed pretty well, so why no sequel? Well, there was going to be one titled Gunrunner. From what we know, it was going to play somewhat similar to Stranglehold, only with a bigger emphasis on precision aim and destructible environments. But the biggest difference, hands down, was going to be a new player alongside Inspector Tequila, played by none other than Vin fucking Diesel. Yes, this is the Wheelman sequel I've been waiting for all this fucking time. I'm telling you, I was researching this at like 2 a.m. and I was not prepared for that information whatsoever. It was apparently going to be a buddy cop story complete with cooperative multiplayer. Footage surfaced in 2012 and looking at it makes me realize that this probably would have been a fucking disaster, but I also kind of wish it came out so I could see it happen in real time. Of course, I'd prefer John Woo to produce a new game with a new concept, but just the idea of a Chow Yun Fat and Vin Diesel buddy comedy has not left my mind since I first heard it, and I'm kind of sad that we never got to see this travesty come out. It was cancelled once Midway filed for bankruptcy in 2009, and that's a shame. But hey, at least we got this singular game in Stranglehold that everybody should play. Come on, you got nothing to lose. It's $10 on GOG to have this game completely DRM free. Mind you, this isn't a sponsor and I don't get a kickback whatsoever. I just want people to play good games. And Stranglehold is a good fucking game. A fantastic four hour experience like this, only being sold for $10. You can't ask for much more than that. So go, mush, onward, play Stranglehold, you dweebs. Uh, but don't forget to share this to, I can't think of another social media. Uh, don't forget to share this to, Pinterest. <laughs> Can't forget my Pinterest, people. Anyways, I'm out.